Hey barbecue fans, Shane Draper, Mike Owens here at Draper's Barbecue. We're taking a little bit of a break here, cleaning up the battle wagon, getting ready for Danville, Kentucky. But uh, we've gotten a lot of email the past couple weeks about the pork porn video that we released uh, called the Kentucky Club. You guys are asking where did it come from, how did we invent it, you know, what, what was the process. And I thought it would be cool to just kind of sit down with, with Mike and I and go through what our process is. It's, uh, it's really pretty simple. This is a lot of it. Uh, Mike and I will uh, kind of get in a uh, game of one-upsmanship with, with ideas of, uh, well, let's try this on a sandwich, and let's try this, and next thing you know, you get this culmination of these, uh, you know, just barbecue awesomeness, and that's one of the things I love about working with Mike. Yeah, it's a, it's a great working relationship. I, I, I tell you, it, it, the inspiration come out of anywhere. Uh, we were sitting around talking, and I had a kind of a mediocre lunch, really, really working for me. So, you know, it's really easy to screw up a club sandwich, and it's like, oh, you know, we could probably do something a little bit better. So from there, the Kentucky Club was born. What didn't work, what does work, how to replicate it, and put a Draper spin on it that makes it truly unique. Absolutely. You know, anyone can throw a sandwich together, uh, and anyone can put barbecue on a sandwich. But what Mike and I strive to do with everything we do is put that DBQ flair on it, make it our own. We want to fit certain flavor profiles stay true to certain, you know, uh, barbecue latitudes, if you will, or platitudes, and, and, and really speak to what great barbecue can be, and while we're doing that, reinvent some standard stuff that, that everyone's used to. I mean, everyone's heard of a club sandwich, you know, it's your, your typical ingredients. But we wanted to take that and completely rework it and give you something totally out of left field where you had to wonder, are these guys crazy? Are they geniuses? Or are they both? And you know, it probably is a little bit of both. I think so. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the, the sandwich itself. Uh, what worked and what didn't. You know, that sandwich that kind of inspired this, I tell you, the, the turkey was dry, kind of flavorless. It was almost like filler. So uh, we thought, you know, what can you do to get rid of get a turkey, you know, and, and give it something that kind of pork-centric and kind of DBQ it up a little bit. So what's better than slow-smoked pork loin, shaved thin and piled high? That's just a win. Moist, juicy, and so much more flavorful than any bird. Uh, it just worked, kind of spoke to us. So that was uh, ingredient number one. Yeah, and then how, how do you top that? You know, you, you can't come back in with something like ham and have it be your deli cubed ham. I mean, I've never met a square pig, so that, that was out immediately. So what we did, we had to go to a full shank of ham. You want that full shank because it's got the bone in it. You get the most flavor out of it. And it's just, well, it's just awesome. I mean, there is nothing better than smoked ham on the planet. It's just pork perfection every time. It's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of spice. And so we, we, we smoke that for, for about eight hours, get a lot of good flavor in it. And then we pull that off the pit, chill it down. And again, we shave it thin because a sandwich can only be great if you can get actual your teeth all the way through it without pulling half the sandwich out. So, you know, after we had that kind of nailed down, we, we moved to the next component, which was the baking. Uh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of smoky flavor bacon, like the crunch. Uh, it works out so well on the sandwich, but uh, pit bacon doesn't really scale up. We kind of opted for something a little bit different. So I went back to what's great about it. We've got the, uh, that smoky flavor. It's got to be pulled pork. Absolutely. So piled that on thick. It's our award-winning true old school pulled pork. Salt, smoke, and meat, no compromises. It's got to be the good stuff. Uh, and again, pile it on high. You might need to unhinge your jaw to get this thing in your mouth, but it'll satisfy you. So what, then we started thinking, what, what pulls all that together, right? You got to have some glue to bind all that together. Uh, we could have put mayo on there. That's a pretty obvious thing, but that's not us. That's not Draper's Barbecue. We will never do the obvious thing, you know. So we came back with uh, kind of our, our, our DBQ uh, slather is kind of what we're calling it. It's a mix of sour cream, our smoking sauce, and uh, our all-purpose rub. You get those things balanced just right. You get this awesome, tangy, uh, herbaceous, you know, just goodness. There, you put that on both sides of your bread. You get that meat in between there. And it is absolutely amazing. But and speaking of, you know, we mentioned the bread. We had to pick a certain kind of bread to make that work. 
Uh, absolutely, you gotta have something that's gonna be able to basically have the structural oomph to hold all that goodness in there. So, uh, you know, I wish they had made something called Kentucky Toast, but it's Texas Toast, folks. Thick enough, big enough, got enough brawn to actually hold that thing together. Uh, put a light toast on it, give it a little bit of crunch, uh, because there's no stinking vegetables on this sandwich. It's all about the pork. That's right. And, 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 you know, when you start thinking about this sandwich, you go, wait a minute. It's all meat, some slathered stuff, and some bread. Where's my tomato? Where's my lettuce? Where's all this other stuff? Well, to be honest, you don't eat it. Um, when we tested the sandwich, we went back to several iterations, we found it started to muddy the flavor. What needed to shine were all three elements of meat in that slather. It didn't need the vegetables. So, you know, perfection to us isn't how much more stuff we can add. It's how little, you know, how many things we can put in and just get it just right enough without, you know, going to that next step that ruins it. And I, I think we've achieved that at the Kentucky Club. I am as pleased with this invention as anything we've done. Uh, the only other sandwich that I would put up there with it is uh, Mike did a DB Cuban, which was fantastic. That's on our website. you got to check that recipe out if you've never seen it. I'm sure Mike will throw the recipe for it right about here. And uh, you guys can link to it. If you've not made that sandwich, go make about a million of them because they are fantastic. It will cure your eating disorder, anorexia, and bulimia. Yep, put them right down. Uh, but absolutely, folks, we're, uh, we're pleased as punch with this. Just couldn't be more excited about showcasing this at the Kentucky State Barbecue Festival in Danville. Come see the debut and put some taste in your face.